Now this question says uh, we have a balloon that is rising up along the axis of a concave mirror. So let us say this is the concave mirror I have. So this is my mirror, concave mirror and this is the axis of the mirror. Now a balloon is going up. So this is the balloon, this is going up. Radius of curvature of this concave mirror is 20 centimeter. This means focus is R by 2. That is focus is 20 centimeter. This is meter, not centimeter. It's a big mirror. The ball is dropped from a balloon at a height 15 meter. So when this height of the balloon is 15 meter, so when the height of the balloon is 15 meter from the concave mirror, there is a ball that has been dropped. So this ball is dropped. Now let us discuss at this point of time velocity of balloon. So balloon is going up with a velocity of 20 meter per second. We have to find a speed of image after 4 seconds. So let us discuss first what, is the, what will happen to this stone after 4 seconds. So we are, we are interested to find a speed of a stone, a speed of a stone after 4 seconds. That is the first important point I am interested. So let us say initially this ball is given a velocity 20 meters and 20 meter per second up because if the balloon is going up with this velocity this ball will also get initial velocity up and now there is a deacceleration z so I can calculate after 4 seconds. So let us use s equals to ut plus half at u square formula. So if I use this one, so I can write s is equals to ut plus half at square. u is basically initial velocity is 20 meter per second and this time ball is going down. Ah no, ball is going up. So 20 meter per second up. Time is 4 second and acceleration is downward. So let us take negative into 4 a square. So this is, uh, I have to find, not velocity, I have to find velocity, okay, let us first find distance. So S equals to 0, this means now the ball is, so what is happening to the ball? So this at t minus at t is 0, so what is happening? This ball, after the 4 second, it will be here, same point. So this ball is thrown up, but after 4 second, this will come again at the same point. Now the velocity is 20 meter per second up. When this will come at this point, the velocity is 20 meter per second in the downward. This can be proved by energy conservation. So now my system is, this ball is going downward with a speed of 20 meter per second. And now the, this is the mirror. So this is my mirror. And this ball is again after 4 seconds. So this is the situation after 4 seconds. This ball is basically... 15 meter height from the pole of the pole of the mirror are you getting so this is the t is equals to 4 seconds so this is the situation after t is equals to 4 seconds so this is equals to t is equals to 4 seconds so this is the situation after t is equals to 4 seconds I have to find image at this point now finding image is easy so this is my object. So let us say I can make the same diagram something like this because we are habituated with this diagram. So this is the concave mirror. You have this object and the u is 15 meter. So this is u is equals to 15 meter and we have to find v. f is given. f is basically 10 meter. So this point the object is between focus and center. So this is your somewhere focus and this is your center and this is your object that is ball so people call it ball because in question this is given there is a ball that has been dropped so now let us say what is the image distance so 1 by u plus 1 by v is equals to 1 by f now in this case u is positive or negative so this is the my ray direction so u is this side so u is negative f is also this side so f is negative now let us find v, so 1 by v is equals to 1 by u minus 1 by f. 
u is 15 meter so I can have 1 by v is equals to 1 by 15 minus f is 10 so this is 30 2 minus 3 so minus 1 by 3 so v is basically 30 meter now negative sign shows so negative sign basically means so this is minus 30 so if I want I can write this is minus 30 meter so with sign wise I have to write minus 30 meter minus sign says object will be formed this so image will be formed also in this side are you getting so image is formed to us object side this is the minus sign mean now at this point of time we have to find what is the velocity of image so my target is to find velocity of image are you getting so this is what is happening this object is falling downward now its image is when this is 15 centimeter image is somewhere here so image is at a distance of 30 meter the same side so you will image is somewhere here so let us say your image on the same axis somewhere 30 meter so this is the image Now object is falling down, image is also falling down. We have to find what is the what is the velocity of image that is falling down at the, at distance when the distance of object is 14 for 15 meter and the distance of image is 30 meter. Now let us write formula 1 by u plus 1 by v is equals to 1 by f. And now if we differentiate this formula both sides, so 1 by u that is differentiation of u is minus 1 by u square and let us differentiate this with respect to time and this is minus 1 by v square and dv by dt and focus is constant so this is 0 now let us put minus 1 by u square and du by dt is u dot and this is minus 1 by v square dv by dt is basically v dot so this is 0 so now I can write u dot by u square plus v dot by v square is equals to 0 this implies v dot is equals to v dot is equals to v square divided by u square this multiplied by u dot are you getting u dot let us plug the value what is v dot velocity of image so this is image velocity that we have to find image velocity what is u dot there is object velocity so what is the velocity by which object is falling and u v has the similar thing v is basically your image distance and u is image distance object distance so image distance I know that is 30 and object distance is 15 so this is square and into object velocity that is 15 meter per second so I will have 4 into 15 that is basically 60 meter per second so this means image is falling 4 times more velocity that is 16 meter per second you can check the answer also so this is 80 meter per second I think somewhere I have done the mistake let us check yeah this is here you see velocity of image is object is 20 meter per second so I have to multiply this by 20 so this is 20 not 15 so this is 20 so 4 into 20 that is 80 meter per second so object is basically falling at a speed of 80 meter per second so object u dot is 15 meter so this is 20 meter and v dot that is the image velocity 80 meter per second 20 meter per second object velocity and this is image velocity.